What's up? Welcome back to one of my videos. First of all, I know there's a lot going on here right now. I just hit my, why do I always hit myself in the face when I say hi to you guys? Um, I'm sitting on a like bouncy ball, a gym ball. Um, there is a chair right there, but it's just not as fun, I feel like. So I am in like the storage room uh, in my basement. Uh, so sorry that it's not very cute, but I brought all of my art stuff down here and I wanted to make a video today showing you guys um, kind of like what my art trolley looks like. I say trolley, I don't know what the word is, but trolley sounds like British or something. So I'm not British, by the way, you could not. So I wanted to show you guys the kind of art supplies that I have, things that I've bought and I've been like, mm, why did I buy that, and things that I recommend. Stuff like that just to show you guys. Um, I am by no means an organized person, but it's fine. Um, anyways, so we're just gonna get real comfy. I might sit on this ball the whole time. I don't know. Um, and we're gonna go through my art trolley. So let's get into the video. I hope I'm not too close to you and you can kind of see this. I'm gonna insert right now just like a slow-mo video of what my trolley looks like. So insert that. I just said I'm not one of the most organized people and you can tell by this big kahuna right here so um I just bought this from Michaels it was on sale that's the only reason I bought it plus it was yellow and I really love yellow so I was like okay plus I had a whole bunch of stuff and it was getting in the way um, but wow this thing is a mess I didn't even really I don't know what I'm gonna say right now um, mason jars I feel like you probably shouldn't use them because they're like so cute and in style right now that you shouldn't waste it on paint, but it was an extra jar that I had around. And so I mix colors in this. Okay, weird little paintbrush. So most of my paints are just like the cheaper paints. I don't buy like fancy paints that are like $4 each. But for the most part, these are the kind of brands that I get. So like Deco Art, Craft Smart, um, what else? Folk, folk art. This one is just like, um, what is the word? Distorted? But for the most part, you don't need to invest, especially if you're starting. Just start. Like if you get your paint from the dollar store, then get your paint from the dollar store. Make it out of berries at home if you want. You know, like I've never done that, but that's a good, I should try that. Actually, that would be, That would be kind of a fun video to do. Um, this is one thing that I recently bought. It's Artist Fluff. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's an iridescent medium and I bought it. It's like all shiny and stuff. You probably can't see that. Anyways, I bought it and I was like, wow, this is gonna be really fun for just like adding something extra to some of my paintings and like making them shiny and it looks so cute. Um, but I would not recommend because even though like it works well, it makes your paintings look like like a Hello Kitty painting thing that you could buy at like Walmart for like a child. Always recommend getting a big tub of this fellow white paint. I usually just buy the craft bar because again, it's the cheapest. Um, so this is a palette that I got I don't even know where, probably the dollar store. So. Um, that's what my palette looks like, and I don't really care. Um, I'm not a neat freak, obviously, so... It's always a good idea to have a palette if you're going to be painting. But, uh, what else do I have in here? Um, I have some of this pink soap brush cleaner that has oil paint all over it, to be honest. Even though a lot of this is missing, I haven't really used it. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think you could just use regular soap. I don't think you need a special pink soap. Um, but maybe it's for like harsher. It didn't work on oil paint, by the way. It is Demo Acrylic Modeling Compounds. 
Um, so I hadn't ever used this before, but it's really great um, if you have a palette knife and you want to add some texture to your canvases, then this stuff works really well. You just have to wait for it to dry or like blow dry it until it's completely dry. Um, and I can show you like what it looks like. It's just a dream like that. Pretty good. So it's kind of fun if you want to add like an extra layer to your paintings or maybe make them look like a bit fancier then that's something that you can consider trying. I would recommend that. For a finish, I was using Mod Podge but to be honest, I don't love it. I don't think it's great. Um, I have also used like sprays and stuff like that. I think that those look better. Um, but then I also have this whole mess which is premium quality right step water-based clear varnish I don't even like this looks old I bet they don't even make it anymore but this is like really good this is like my fave and I hope that I never run out of it but obviously it's inevitable so oh gosh another thing that I like never use but it is really cool um it's just like not really my style but this would be something really cool to try out if you're just wanting to make like fun DIY paintings. Um, this is silicone oil, just looks like that. I got it from Michaels and it has this little dropper thing. And so you just drop some of it into your paint before you like pour it on and it creates, it creates little bubbles. Um, you know, you've probably seen people do like those pour things. So um, that's something that's really cool. I should actually try to do that more have some linseed oil, obviously that's a mess too, but that's for oil painting. I have this, isn't this thing so pretty? Like, I mean, it was pretty until I put a bunch of paint in it and ruined it. Um, watercolor paints and gouache paints in this little friend. I don't use these very much. Um, I used to use gouache a lot more. Um, obviously this is not very organized. I also have some pens, pencils, oil pastels in there. In the very bottom, I know you can't see it, but I have some of these. Um, these came in a pack for three for like five dollars or something at Walmart. And um, when you go to Michaels, they're like five dollars each. So it's kind of good to just get a pack if you need to send something. Use Michaels also has these little thank you stickers, so I put these on um, any packages that I'm sending out. It just makes it look really cute. I have a sharpie. Um, I have this little thing, you can get these at Michael's, oh, there's a sticker on it, but um, I had this laying around, it's just some scrap of paper, so I like to kind of do some fun stuff with that when I'm packaging things. I got some masking tape with a cute pattern on it, so that's also great when I'm packaging things, just to add a little style to it, and I think that's it. So. Anyways, that's everything that I keep in my little trolley. But if you're just starting out, you don't need a lot of stuff, like you need paint brushes and you need paint. You don't even need paint brushes. Like, get creative. You can use your fingers. And like I said, you can make paint out of berries. Like, or like use your lipstick or like coffee or something. Like if you want to create, just go ahead and do it using stuff that you have around the house. Uh, and this has been my trolley. I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if there is anything that you guys want to know. If you have questions, you can like, comment, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, you can check out my website, you can check out my Etsy page. I'll have all of that linked down below. Um, seriously, follow me on Instagram and we can be friends. I would love that. I'm gonna go now and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.